We're live. Are you we're, sure? We're Audio live. live. Yep, yeah, mics are up. Everything's up. Good. We're all here. You're not going to make that mistake again, yeah? Hello. Welcome back to uh, Roleplay. Uh, we're, today we're learning to play 7C. Uh, 7C is a, as it says, a game of swashbuckling, sorcery, politics, intrigue, um, discovery, diplomacy, archaeology. Uh, set in weird, uh, very similar to 16th century Europe. This is called the Dark Ages because that's what 16th century was. Renaissance. It's actually the Renaissance. Yeah. Renaissance. Yeah, I get. I know that. For you, Dark Ages. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't ancient, so man. Yeah. So, in front of you, you have a little piece of paper that says about characters and describes which each character is like. Um. So, have you picked yours? I have not picked mine yet. No, you have not. Everybody, I was letting okay. everybody else pick theirs. Um, so have a read of this piece of paper. Read through the different characters. See which one uh, you like. Because this gives you a description of how each character plays. What they're good at. Alright? Why to pick it. As opposed to just looking at a piece of paper and some stats. Um, while you do that, would you like to introduce players? Absolutely. So, uh, we have some fresh faces. Some new faces. And we'll be having a returning face uh, next week. So uh, let's start off first with uh, returning from the first season, I guess we can call them now because this is now a thing. <laughs> this is season sure. two? This is season two, yeah. Sweet. So <laughs> uh, we have Yuval down there on the far oh, left, me. or right, You're I guess, of here. me. Yep. And beside him is Jeremy. What's up, Jeremy? He's hey. engrossed in his uh, engrossed the in, different characters. Yeah. And to my right. <laughs> <laughs> to Jeremy's. Yes. We have introduce yourself. Mona. Mona. Yes. She is brand new to this, but not brand new to the store or anything else. You are an avid D and D player. Well, yeah. Burns. Yeah. Burns. Yeah. So don't actually pick the character you want. Because, you know, there might be a conflict, and, like, two of you might want the same character. Unlikely. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. I think the one that, I'm that Richard would definitely not play. Yeah. Okay. Simone has already chosen hers. So. Well. Okay, so what character... Can I actually see the character sheets? Um, There's two right. just Well, to give him, oh. there, you know them all, because I know you've already... Yeah, right, yeah, I just need these two. I mean, these oh. two. Yeah, but if you want one of those... Well, tough. You're a face, sir. So, I kind of <laughs> made a promise that I would play, uh, do a gender bend role play. Really? Yeah. So I'm gonna, uh, no, no, no. To no. whom? Pardon? So it doesn't matter to guy whom. It's alright. Okay. <laughs> so, I, my, uh, Roberto Gallo, who is I'm going to choose. Okay. Uh, yeah. you've read the piece of paper that says about the. Why to play, how to play, etc. Yes, he's a dashing scoundrel with a devil may cry attitude. That is literally me. Like I said, I picked the one that Richard would. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and also, thank you for the ace. Mm -hmm. For the what? The the little character yeah. sheets, the and the description. Yeah, I, I like useful. the description thing. Yeah, with all the characters' descriptions on it. So, so we'll go through. Uh, you want to pass me the unused character? Yeah. So I can just um, go through the stuff on the sheet? Yep. Extreme close up of my face. <laughs> so, first of all, uh, the name. <coughs> so, on that first piece of paper you were looking at, there was a pronunciation guide. Yeah. Um, Roberto Guillo. <laughs> yeah. Oh. My yeah, because so these Italian are European. Who um, <laughs> they're all Italian. No, they're not. It's Pucci. Most of them are. Most of them are. So is Pucci. there's... That's nice. Um, Dominica is Pucci. How do you think you say mine? 
Which one is it? Alexi. Now, if you have a problem with this, Alexi Garcia Mona. Noak. Not bad. No, no. Huh? Hmm? We're just having Alexi. Alexi. Alexi Gracian Novak. Gracian. Gracia, Gracian, that's right. Yeah. Gracian Novak. Prince yeah. of the Commonwealth. Like Polish or something? Yeah, so the Commonwealth is Poland Lithuania. Ooh, much I like, was right. Yeah, much like uh, the Commonwealth was historically. Um, I know history. The uh, Vodachi <laughs> is Italy. Um, Castilians are Spain. Um, other places oh, so are I'm Spanish. Yeah, other places are Montaigne, which is France. Uh, Avalon, which is um, Great Britain. Great Britain, the Isles. Um, Realize I don't have my mic attached to me. Mm, useful. <laughs> yeah. Um, Eisen, which is. Germany, ish. Um, ish, ish, ish. They're recovering from thirty years of war, <laughs> so it's ish. Who's that, that, that's a thing. Eisen. Okay. Um, it's Eisen's more. Um, Eisen. It's Take more. The Isengard. Well, I guess yeah. when you say it like that, it doesn't sound like Japanese. Uh, it's more. Uh, what's the word? Yeah, um, he's thinking He's like the whitest guy. Hanseatic League. Um, and then, yeah, the Commonwealth is said, and then there's Usura, which is Russia. Um, and there's some secret societies as well. Los Vagos, which are um, hidden crusaders trying to protect the steel. I know what? Hidden crusaders who are trying to protect the people of Castile uh, from enemies within and enemies without. So, if you're a Castilian, that is something to know. Uh, there is the church, the Vaticine. Vaticine. Uh, yep. It's almost like Vaseline mixed with the action. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Vaticine is in um, Castile. Yeah. It is not in uh, Vodachi. Yeah. Okay. So that's different from real life. Yes. The, uh, the and, the differences. and the magic, you know, as well. Well, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know if that's so different. So, um, on your card sheet, you will notice under your name, it'll say if, which country you're, you're from. Yeah. It'll say whether you're a member of the vaccine or you're agnostic or other. I believe you are all vaccine. Sweet. Because uh, mm -hmm. there's only one agnostic character, which is this one here. Praise the bat. <laughs> yeah. We are um, of the bat. <laughs> you then have your hubris under that. Thank you. Um, so when you choose to act in that way, you will regain a hero point. Hero points can be used uh -huh. to uh, do certain things. Like, they give you bonuses. You can use them to activate advantages, etc. Um... Hubrises are bad things for your character. I see. Yeah. They're not going to be. Uh, it's not beneficial to activate your hubris. Not beneficial for your character. Beneficial to story sometimes, though. And you get a hero point out of it. Um, on the other side, you have background quirks. Um, if you act according to your background <coughs> quirk. <coughs> you earn one hero point per session max per quirk. So you can act like it all the time, but you can choose to regain or to gain a hero point through using it as a roleplay thing and go, okay, well, um, because I'm doing this, I, I gain a hero point. So this um, game rewards you for roleplay? Yeah, of course, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. This all game is very too. heavy roleplay. Um, so in the middle you have your traits, your brawn, your finesse, your wits, your resolve, and your panache. <coughs> what is panache? Uh, panache? Panache is flair. Okay. Beautiful. You're going down your wall. Is your charm and personal? It, it's your you charm and panache. personal magnetism. Yeah. Call my dad. People um, magnet. Get connected to me. 
Yeah, that's use. how you use it. You don't have to use it all the time for those things. You can sometimes, if you're dueling, you might be rolling panache and uh, <laughs> weapon sword for dueling. That's fair. As I just see like a yellow skill just fly by. <laughs> I wondered what that was. Uh, under that, you have your skills. This is a very cut down skill. It doesn't show you all the skills available. There are a lot of skills. Um, and you each have different skills listed there. Um, so, when it comes to rolling dice, you will roll dice equal to your number of d10s, equal to your trait, plus whatever skill you pick. Mm. Um, Question. Yeah. What is... I don't want to sound stupid. S sort? Sorte. Sorte. Sorte is that, magic. But, okay. It's uh, manipulating fate. Ooh. Uh, you are something called a fate witch. Yeah. <laughs> um, and fate witches can literally manipulate fate of others. But not themselves? Not out. themselves. Oh. If you were able to manipulate the fate of yourself, yeah, I mean, that would be like crazy. Uh, I'll just give you the extra sheet for sorte. Then why would you live? Honestly, if you could manipulate your own fate. But you do manipulate your own fate, baby. So... This is a, because this is a quick start, a lot of it has been preset to the way it will work for you. Um, instead of giving you full rules for it, you get a very cut down thing on your blessings. Um, so you can curse someone, and if you curse someone, everyone rolling against them gets bonus dice. You better watch or it you can Nash. bless someone. Yeah. <laughs> you might just end up getting cursed. You can bless someone, and they will get bonus dice. Um, but each time you do it, you do it for skill. So if you bless someone with swordsman skills, they will get more dice when they make sword, take swordsman risks, sword fighting risks. Cool. Um, so I'll go to the little intro to the adventure. So you are in the Samartan Commonwealth. Sweet. A land so made up. Huh? A land long troubled by internal corruption. Last night the king made a proclamation that could change all that. Finally bring justice to the Commonwealth. Um, for nearly half a century the Commonwealth has been a democratic monarchy. A council of nobles. The Sayum are the true power in the nation, having the ability to vote because of their noble titles. Uh, but they have put the Commonwealth on a path of self-destruction. <clears throat> because any noble in the council has the ability to veto any legislation, the same as it's a standstill. Much like politics. <laughs> um, grain rots on the docks, the army lacks necessary weapons and tools, Funds sit in treasure chests, and the Commonwealth slowly dies from within. The king is a living symbol of the nation, lying on his deathbed, unable to assist his people. But the king's son, Alexei Gratsian Novak, <laughs> discovered a way to save the Commonwealth. During his research, he found the king has a single power that Sam cannot veto, the power to grant a noble title. Alexei bought his dying father, carried on his deathbed, into the same for one final proclamation. And there, in front of the council, <coughs> the king declared all citizens of the Commonwealth noble, making each and every citizen a knight or dame. The prince told the same that the king's pronouncement would take effect in 30 days. They had one month to strike to strike the law allowing any member of the same to veto any legislation or they would have an entire nation of legal voters with that same power. Needless to say, the same immediately voted to strip themselves of the right to veto. The end. Yay. Yay! We won. Sweet. So, no. did we really win? I feel like that's a moral conflict. <laughs> you 
are in a private meeting. Or it was supposed to be a private meeting. <laughs> in Vasa Castle, in the throne room, with the Prince of the Commonwealth, it was a motley Hello. gathering. The Prince of Samarta, a Bodachi bride to be, and her swagger and brother. Um, oh, we're, we're siblings? <laughs> an entirely honest Castilian sailor and a mysterious stoic bodyguard. I believe you're the sailor. Uh, is your bodyguard is here? Yes, I am a stoic sailor. <laughs> no, you're an honest sailor. Stoic bodyguard ship. is stoic. Oh, okay. Stoic bodyguard. Can we switch? <laughs> no. Can I just have like the honest bodyguard? Lost baggage. Can I be like? Can I? Am I Whitney Houston? <laughs> anyway, shush. <laughs> am I Whitney Houston? Uh, it was supposed to be a private meeting. Each participant with their own agendas. Some of them less public than others. But then the Vodachi woman's eyes went wide. Danger, she screamed. Danger. Her brother threw himself in front of his sister. Yeah. The Castilian bodyguard threw herself on the prince. And the sailor... Oh my. Ducked. Hot. <laughs> You're not the bodyguard. Whatever. You're the I, sailor. Sailor, bodyguard, what's the difference? Because that's my the My bodyguard's not even here. My, uh, literally, Be bodyguard's not here. That's true. So the sailor ducked. An explosion of gunpowder, shattering glass, the march of soldiers' feet. The yeah. door blew open and a man stepped through, surrounded by soldiers. He introduced himself as Duke Kazmierz Marsin Sabat. And he accused the prince of treason. Arrows flew, swords clashed, and he escaped barely. barely. And here you... And now here you are, hiding in one of the castle's many rooms, with burning beams and tapestries. If only you had a window, perhaps you could risk a jump. Weapons drawn, breathing smoke, feeling the heat of flame on your skin, the prince looks at each of you. You seem like honourable men and women, at least more honourable than the villain looking for you. This is a political coup. You've got to get out of here, but where do you go? Ah, I know the perfect place we can go. I have traveled there many times over the years. Actually, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm looking at them. I'm trying to find a place on the map. So, um... <laughs> please, each of you, give a rundown of your heroes, your motivations, and your secrets. We have Ooh. secrets? Yeah. Well, they're secrets, so why would I tell you them? For the audience. Okay. Cover your ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's just an introduction to your character, basically. I'll go first, because I introduced myself first, I guess. Um, I am Ennio Vespucci, uh, and I am very good with a sword, and definitely, definitely am 100% sure that you can solve any problem by just killing the right person. So, and I am the Crown Prince of the Commonwealth, Alexei Glatzian Novak, and I want to uh, <clears throat> free my people from the bondage imposed by their own nobility. I have a sharp tactical mind and a great deal of personal charisma, but my political skills leave something to be desired. Also, I'm a fantastic dancer. Me too. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm oh, you Dominica better. I am. Yeah. I am a temptress. <laughs> <laughs> temptress by truth. Basically, what's the word? Uh, no one will meet your eyes. Yeah, because um, I. I don't really know what to say, but I'm just like, I, I so would do like shit a, my own way and I don't care what anybody else says. Cause so you're like a 15 out of 10s, that, that's what I'm getting? Like, the temptress? Yeah. Is that part? Okay. Yeah. Alright. And I am Roberto Gallo. Uh, apparently I'm overconfident. <laughs> um, I'm a sailor. And I find, hmm, interesting. I'm what? inspirational. Are you really? And I'm an able drinker. <laughs> Are you yeah. really? Yeah, that part I can guarantee. Hmm. <laughs> 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 no, I'm so right, man. Um, you've got to think how you're going to escape. With the soldiers all through the kettle looking for you. Alright. 
So I turn to Dominica. Dominica, you screamed danger before you saw any. How did you know? You know what a fate witch is. Everyone knows what a fate witch is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Role playing my character here. Mm -hmm. Who is not the smartest. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You know what a fate witch is. Well, I... Why do you even ask me that? I... Because if you can see danger coming, then you can lead us out of here. Where are we again? You're in a castle. It's on fire. It's burning. Okay, my suggestion the soldiers is looking for you. we kill everybody that tries to kill us. And I'm really good with a sword, so we can definitely do that. Because I'm really good with a sword, guys. Like, you guys haven't seen me with a sword. Just saying. I'm, like, next level. Like, my sister will back me up on this. Like, I am crazy with a sword, guys. That thing goes... And they just slip into little pieces of human... Just saying. But, uh, that was that's a dream my suggestion. that you told me <laughs> two nights ago. So okay, you know don't what? even lie. <laughs> okay, so I suggest we try and. You said there's, no, there's like a window near here or something? There's no window. There's no this window. is your castle. There's my no, castle. There's no window your here. Castle. Yeah, there's no window here. Okay, where, um, do you know the layout of the. The castle. Well, well, of course. I was born and raised here. I took dancing lessons right next door. Then why are you asking me the way out? Because you can see what we can't. Unless, of course, we could just push your brother into the way of danger. Yeah, okay kill with that. He jumped in front of me. <laughs> and you, Captain. I assume you have a ship? <laughs> I am no captain, but I have been to many different places. <laughs> and let me tell you this, there's always a way out. But you could sail a ship if we found one. Yes, any monkey can sail a ship. Yes. I should like to meet many of these monkeys so that <laughs> I, I could crew a ship and get out of here. Since I ah, then we shall go to the tavern after we escape from this area, get ourselves a crew, find a ship, and set for the seven seas. I love it. Now let's go kill some people and get out of here. You first. Okay. Yes. All right. Go. I pull my sword out and run out the door. Okay. Okay, Yelling. Running through the burning <laughs> castle. I'll drop ah! I'll drop Beams like fall from above, <laughs> crashing down all around you. You burst through a doorway into the ballroom. Flames licking at the walls. Behind you, guards wearing sabbat colors shout for you to halt. Then, from the balconies above, you see an assortment of crossbows and muskets leveled at you over the railings. Too many to fight. Okay. You know that if you can make it to the far side of the room... And through the nearby study, there is a window that overlooks the docks. If you can make it there, you can surely escape the city before the noose closes around your neck. Through that door. Over there. Stop! I start seductively dancing towards the middle of the room. So, here we get to <laughs> your first main thing. Um... You need to get through this burning area without being shot and murdered. Yeah. I throw my sword. Why don't we just take the prince hostage or whatever he is? Well, they're trying to kill him. So oh, they're, they're trying like, to kill him? Cool, yeah, have fun. It's a political coup. <laughs> they're not going to go, oh yeah, look, you've captured him. Stop. <laughs> oh no, we don't get to kill him, but you do. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> um, What's wrong with my seductive Nancy? Nothing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So here we get to your Anybody first looks at my sister dies. Risk. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so the way this works Keep is uh, because this is a risk, you have to get through this ballroom without being shot at. Um, you will need to figure out how you're going to overcome this risk. You can each use different methods. Um, it's up to you how you do it. So you wish to dance and. Sash it, like, sashay your way through and make them all look at you and, yeah. you know, or... Do I see any duelist guilds pins? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> and it's up to you how you make your way through this So do we area. roll initiative or do we just tell No, you, you tell or... me what your... So, 
there's a thing called an approach. Mm -hmm. All right. So you tell me how you intend to get through. Okay. All right. After you've all told, like, after you tell me what your approach is, I'll tell you what skills you need to roll for this, what mm. trait and skill to use. So, set the scene again. We've broken through a door. You've broken We're through this ball. door into this ballroom that's right. on fire. And there's like a bunch. The of other side of this men. And yeah. There's, no, there's a bunch of crossbowmen and crossbow and musket men up on the balconies. Nice. All right. They will be firing probably down into this okay. area. I'm there's a door the other side, which you remember. Not far away. Is the door? Doesn't matter. It's okay. the other side of a ballroom. It's okay. a very large. Right? You don't have it's movement like rates. Big, you don't have big, anything like this. This yeah. is just a straight up, like. Yeah, yeah. And I'm one just wondering if, like, like if, if you sprint it, you're you dead. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like, it, no, you can make it. Right. It, it doesn't matter more, how you shape. try. If you try yeah. to sprint all the way across and use speed over. Yeah, I guess that's fair. You know, as long as you get the successes <clears throat> needed, then you Are there make any it. windows in this ballroom? No. Okay. Because you remember, the other side through that door is a window. Mm. And that's why you're trying to get through this room. Well, I remember when I said that. Ooh. I'm going to try to oh, befriend them. Just be like, what's up, okay. guys? So, the risk is this. Uh, you need to get across the ballroom to safety. There is consequence, though. Not getting shot. Um, you will take eight wounds. Mm. All right. If we run across the ballroom. If you fail to get enough raises, you will take wounds. Gotcha. So the consequence of failing and success yeah. are stated. Okay. So so the way this work mm -hmm. is, you tell me how you intend to get across. Uh, so you're gonna set, dance your way across. Seductively. Um, Seductively. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna like pretend that I'm gonna try and act out as if I'm actually dancing in a ballroom. Just completely ignore it. Okay. Crossbow people, the fire. Just pretend like I'm dancing, and I wait, make my way. Okay. So I'm gonna use my uh, background quirk, aristocrat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to appeal to my bloodline, breeding, and family name to solve this problem. I'm going to I'm going to say to them. Well, before I start that, is there any debris in the ballroom? Yes, it's on fire. Uh, tables. Ta yeah, look, it's a ballroom. What right. do you think would be in a burning ballroom? Oh, I don't After know. a grand I've never ball. Never been in a ballroom. Maybe they have the floor. Yeah, I'm not, not rich enough sure. for it's that. Up to you to tell me what's in this ballroom. So there's there's a table in this ballroom. Yeah. I'm going to use my brawn. I'm going, okay. to, I'm going to pick the table up and use it as a shield to block against the okay. incoming uh, things. I'm going to use that to, to shield anyone who's not dancing. So that will be blown on athletics. Very good. Uh, you will be using... Um, panache and... Yeah. Or you panache. can just hide under my table. No. Uh, so oh, here's the thing. I'm not doing that. They still have to make that risk to get across. Right, right, right. right. Okay. So they still have to roll. Mm. If they fail... Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, panache and... Well, you're dancing, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, what skill is that for dancing? Perform. 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 So, panache and perform. Okay. Uh, Yvonne. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try to befriend them. Hey guys, like, don't worry, I'm on, I'm on your side here. Like, I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know what's happening here. Like, kind of crazy stuff hmm? going on. Do we look alike? Like, enough to tell your family. Okay, I'm just really Not hoping that her sexy dancing. Um, link to your hair, maybe. <laughs> so, panache and what skill would you like to use? I think you wore the dress better than you. Don't roll it. Tell me what skill you would like to use. No, 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 I'm not gonna roll it yet. Yeah, um, I'm just pulling out skill. the dice for panache. Um, deception. Okay, so you're not actually. They're not gonna actually my friends. <laughs> yeah, okay. And I was gonna. Do? I was gonna try and talk my way across the ballroom with panache and deception. Okay. What? Yeah. Like, so we're, we're both uh, just their tell, friends. Tell so you stories. don't get any bonuses because you're doing the same as someone else. Okay. Like if you try to do something else that someone else hasn't done, you will get bonus dice. That's like fair. sexy dancing. Yeah. Well, well, no, you wouldn't like, get anything. Help. <laughs> Even if it was just to run as fast yeah, yeah. as possible across. Now, Alex, yeah. <clears throat> are we allowed to choose the timing? 
in order to increase no, their chances. No, they all happen at the same time. Simultaneously. Yeah. Okay, there's no initiative. You're not in combat. No, of course not, but I, uh, just for the like sake of reason. <laughs> I would imagine yeah, that people spreading. trying to bluff their way out of the situation go before the target yeah, of the Yeah, you can do that. Coup. So, you assemble your dice pool. Yes. Um, so your dice pool is, in your case, it will be your panache perform. and perform. You, so a number of dice so equal three two. three or mm -hmm. four? Uh, your panache is three. Okay. And plus one is two. So five dice. Okay. You gain an additional plus d10 because you are at level one. You haven't taken any. Moves. No, you're not at level one. Or oh, not at level you're one. You're not at level, level one. Zero. There aren't levels. You're, you're not damaged. Right. So, so only after one do we. Okay. okay. Yeah. I understand. We'll get to that in a moment. Mm. So. <laughs> we'll <to> get hurt. <laughs> no, no. We'll we'll explain. You get a bonus dice for your description. What do you mean? You told me how you're going to do this, so you get a bonus dice. You get a bonus dice for your description. Yep. You get a bonus dice. However, you do not. Because you're I, effectively I've, doing the same as someone I've, else. I'm glad I would just blame you all. <laughs> Next time we'll go in a different order. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. However, you also get a bonus dice because this is the first time in this scene you have used the skill you're using. Cool. So the first time in a scene you use your skill, like each skill, so just one. you get a bonus dice. Yeah. So just, we use two skills... Two bonus huh? dice or just one? Just one. You only use one skill, because the, the top one is a trait. Oh! Right. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the ones at the top, so your panache is a trait, but your perform is a skill. Yeah. So if you were to try to perform your way through something else later, you would not receive the bonus die. Okay. So, you then roll your dice. All of them. So I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a bonus set for being large, right? So this is a physical risk that I would take. Yes. Yeah. Right. Lifting yeah. heavy object. Yeah. yeah. Uh. All right. I got a bunch of numbers. Okay. What do they mean? So what you're trying to do on those numbers is you are trying to create uh, sets of dice that add up, add up to ten. Ooh. Oh. Oh, neat. Nice. All right. Okay. And so you split, like, try to make as many tens as possible without reusing dice. Okay. A uh, zero is a ten on this. A zero is a ten. Okay. Zero is a ten. I've got two. I got two One, and a half. Two, so you have two. Extras don't matter. Four and a half. So four. Extras don't matter. Right? Three. Did I get the one? I got all Okay. Okay. So. These are the number of raises you have. So you have four raises, you have two, you have two, you have... Three raises. Three raises. Mm -hmm. Okay. So first, you must spend a raise on getting across to the other side. Okay. Okay. Take the Sure. Then, for each raise, you can negate one of the wounds. Hmm. Okay. okay. One of the okay. eight wounds? Yeah. Here's the thing. You're negating... You spend a raise, and now it's seven wounds as a group. Oh. oh. Okay. So I, I'm going right. to negate two. So you negate, well, you had two raises, yeah? Yeah. You have to spend, well, you can negate two, but you fail to make it to the other side and end up getting captured. No, no, I got three overall. Oh, you got three. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so one to get to the other side, yeah, and, and two then to two reduce. to negate. So I've got two more to add to the party. So two, three, one. four. Yep. I just have one. Five. I have, six, I have seven, three, eight. I have three successes. Okay. So, so you make yeah. it to the other yeah. side through your dancing and... So they're distracted by you because they realize you're a fate witch and no one actually wants to look at fate witches because fate witches uh, are scary. <laughs> okay. People are scared uh, of fate dancing, witches. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. no, like Second Everyone point. assumes that a Vodachu woman is a fate witch. Just every single Vodachu woman? Yeah. Seems kind of racist, but... Because they don't, you can't tell who is and who isn't. Right. Okay. So and yes, it assume. is kind of racist. Yeah. Um, it's also cautious. 16th century Europe, racist. Yeah. Shocker. <laughs> However, <laughs> you are actually a fate witch. Europe, period. Yeah. <laughs> racist. Shocker. Right. And fate witches Psych. can curse you. Okay. So no one ever meets the odds of a fate witch or a Vodachu woman, because they assume it could be a fate witch. Wow. However, your curses, you actually have to kiss them. Wow. Ew. Ha, I'm never getting cursed. You can kiss them easy, on the hand. Easy. You can kiss. You don't have to kiss oh. them on the lips. Just a kiss. 
right? <laughs> so, so you repeat their name That's level five. three times, yeah. and then kiss them somewhere, and you can either bless them or curse them. Just call everyone Candyman and give them a kiss on the cheek. Um, or in the mirror. So you dance your way across. They're kind of distracted. Shots go towards the large wooden table. Oh. <laughs> Instead. It's a good thing none of us went under that table. Mm. He did. Oh, he did. He picked it up and he carried it on his back across. <laughs> they shot <laughs> the like, table. Crossbow bolts and musket bolts went into the table instead of into you guys. And you make it to the other side. Do they believe me, by the way? I'm on their side. You got successes, right? You got some, yeah, you got successes. You got, two or three. You oh, got yeah. successes, so yes, yes, they did. <laughs> that is that is the way to look at it. You get raises, you got believed. <laughs> awesome. Believe in yourself. And I got a table. So, and I got a table. Occasionally. There will be times where it won't be group damage, um, and wounds will be allocated to you as individuals. Mm. You may spend um, raises to overcome um, consequences for each other. So if the wounds are individual, then yes, you could spend bonus raises. However, you can never spend a raise to help someone succeed against the actual risk itself. Okay, that makes sense. All right. They must do it themselves. Yeah, okay. So how many how many wounds did we manage to soak and how many are left over? None. Oh, we got them all. Yeah, it, yeah, was, yeah, it was group damage. We did it. And you got, between you, eight, eight. additional raises about what you needed for the initial risk. So therefore, there's no damage. I think we should, we should call this new invention table dancing. Okay. You burst. We should do this more often. <laughs> you burst into the study and throw the door closed behind you. Ennio holds the door shut long enough for. I'm like, how the hell do I pronounce this name? The other person is with you. Your bodyguard is here. <laughs> yeah, my bodyguard kicks ass. Azucina to append a small bookcase in front of it. Spats ma men won't be getting in that way. Yeah, that's good. With them, Drotzi, you hear from room behind you. Hello, darling. Crouched on the sill of an open window, you see a woman in skin-tight black leather trousers, <laughs> tall boots, and a leather corset. Her hair is black and long, flowing over her shoulders. She drops to the floor and the pads of her feet but stays close to the window. She seems a little apprehensive, but has put in a great deal of effort into seeming ease. This is Estera Sabat, the woman the prince has been refusing to marry for five years. Her objective yes. is political influence, and her favorite methods are theft and espionage. She is the black cat. I have a proposition for you, she says in her husky, sultry voice. Husky and sultry? Mm-hmm. And in black leather? She's <laughs> With, like, boots? Everyone may I introduce mm -hmm. to you my fiancé? I don't know what my father plans, but I know him well enough. His interests usually align with mine, but not this time, I think. Let me go with you. I can help. Estera's goal is simple. She wants to stay close to the prince and his companions. So, do you let her go with you? Of course. I trust her. Even though you've been refusing to marry her for five years, and she is working for them, or she is the daughter of the man trying to kill you? I am a very trusting person. Okay. It's actually my hubris. I suggest we stab her. Then I will see you at the pirate ship, my prince. I would accompany you there myself, but there is something I must attend to before we leave. And besides, Tell as usual, about where we're going. <laughs> you are in capable hands. She flashes a quick smile at your bodyguard, then saunters out a nearby door without a glance over her shoulder. I'm in good hands. Let's go, you guys. I don't like this. Wow. <laughs> Below you, through the window she left open, 
the small courtyard is swarming with activity. More than a dozen of Sabat's house guard are taking positions down below. In the chaos, they don't seem to notice you just yet. A few glance up at the window when they see some commotion, but there is just too much going on right now for all of them to notice. The soldiers move to fortified positions along the walls. It is clear they are taking control of the palace, but their attention is mostly focused outwards. What do you do? What floor are we on? <laughs> the third? Third floor? Okay. Yeah. Can we safely jump? You could jump out the window, yeah. Is there anything to land on us? I don't know, is there? You yes. tell me. Yes, there is. <laughs> it, this is not about me telling you what's there. Mm. It's about you telling me what's there. Um. Oh, look, a conveniently placed bed. If we, if we jump for that, that feather... That doesn't make sense. Okay. But, a pile of hay? I was going to say, if, sure. we, if we jump for the hay cart down there, we might be able to make it. Is there... Mm -hmm. Well, know, if, the, if the tower's made out of bricks, we could essentially climb down. Scale yeah. down the side. Yeah, it works too. Okay. I'm going to jump into the haystack, because I'm... Okay. <laughs> How about you? How do you wish to get down? Certainly the proper way. Hmm? Certainly the proper way. A well-educated escape means that we must find something to climb down with. Okay. You're gonna find something to climb down <laughs> with? Like, please say more. Yeah. You know? Like, please tell me how you get plan to get down. Is there a rope or anything? I don't around? know. Is there a rope around here? I don't know. There You're a sailor. A rope. Look, there, a, rope. a rope. You're a sailor. sailor. No, yeah. he, no. No. Like, like, he wouldn't be carrying a rope to a ground bowl in a meeting with you. Yeah. But, you know. Maybe, maybe he knows about my strange fondness for ropes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, the king's strange fondness for ropes. Maybe I have a whip. Maybe, maybe it's an exceptional rope from the new you world have that we haven't I seen. I mean, I don't know if isn't long enough. Like, so, if you wish something to be in a scene, mm. add it. My hubris. Is Obviously, you can't add a bed <laughs> on a courtyard, but you could add a pile of hay or a hay cart to jump into. Oh. Well, right? isn't that interesting that there happens but to be a... They've oh. already added one. Oh, okay. And again, someone has already jumped into it. But do you Sorry, wish to either jump into the same thing or, you know... Um, there's people down there? There's guards down there, yeah. Okay. So back trying to secure the... But they, you said, like, they're mostly looking outwards. Are they, yeah. are they loyal to him or... No, they, no. they're loyal to... The Count. The Count. Duke. To the guy who's trying to kill him. I'm to kill him. stick my butt out. <clears throat> Are you, are you using your whip? My whip for what? You climb down like these are like. No, I'm just climbing down the. Yeah, you could. Oh, rock by rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna stick my. You can be outlandish if you want. You you don't have I'm to be sensible. To I'm going to your swan heroes. dive down onto the guards. <laughs> oh. So you're gonna jump directly onto a guard. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so you've, so no, you've no, invented like, Mexican wrestling. All right. This is like some luchador stuff. Right? No, it's it's assassin creed style stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Sure. And as I'm flying down, I'm just going to pull my dagger out. <laughs> okay. Right. So I'm going to use the, the technique that I always use to evade my fiance, and since she's a cat burglar, it's quite tried true. I'm going to take the, the curtains down from the room, and I'm going to fashion it a quick rope, secure it to the post, and sure. down I go. I'm going to like lift up I'll repel like a fireman. And Swing down. Climb down like that. Okay. So. I've gotten quite good at this over the years. Um, you are climbing down, so it will be with, uh, sorry, finesse and, um, athletics. I don't have that. What do you have to help you climbing, then? Weapon with. <laughs> Temp, perfume, occult, no. hide, no. no, that's all I got. Okay. So can I not climb down, So would then? you like to do something else that's what? actually within your skill set? What? Okay. Well, you don't really know how to climb, so. Oh. So in your case, it is. Um, oh. Okay. Like you need to finesse and athletics. No. 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 It's finesse and weapon dagger. Well, weapon sword. So you're gonna stab him with your sword as you go. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's finesse and weapon sword. For you. You're going sword first into the guards. You yeah. make an excellent distraction to get away. Good thinking. 
And don't roll yet. Let everyone else okay. figure out what they get. You all get to roll at the same point. Mm. All right? Until we... You don't get to go... Oh, that's right. You build a scene in the game, You build right? a scene. You figure out how everyone getting down there, what they're rolling. You all roll simultaneously to stop someone going, Oh, it, well, it doesn't matter anymore. You two have just got the required success to, to negate everything. Okay. So you're doing the diving with the I'm cart? just jumping in the cart, yeah. Not even diving, I'm just cannonballing it. I've got my, I've got my evade the... Uh, so, uh, the finesse and athletics move. for you. Mm -hmm. What's mine? Uh, yours will be, um... Wits. Oh, okay. Wits is fine. And, um... I don't know, actually have a master oh. list of your skills, so... Uh, I have athletics. If you, I was just yeah, gonna but you're, you're... No? It's more about the fashion of the like the things pulling the curtains down. Oh, and like how to tie them together properly. Yeah, yeah. I have no fashion. Okay, yeah, I'll go with that. Okay. I think Mora we're, has this we're on the idea. third floor. Okay, I'm gonna jump out the window and just, like give a blood curling scream and just hope somebody catches me. Okay. Um. But I'm gonna um uh, with that. I was gonna say like. Aim for the haystack, but no. No, aim for them and say, save me. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. I like yeah. that one. Yeah, like, like, yeah. See, I was thinking of, like, literally lifting up my skirt and climbing down the wall so they would notice me, but this is better. <laughs> yeah, just I think, I think they would up. notice if your skirt was lifted up climbing down the wall. That's, yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. I, I want to be noticed. I'm important. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah. Oh, so it will be... <sighs> Um, find the other uh, the skill that sheets. Um, hmm. We'll use some panache. Okay. And, um, you want them to notice you, yeah? Yeah. Yes, I want someone to catch me. <laughs> um,. And again, uh, you get, for your descriptions, a bonus die. You get a bonus die if it's the first time you've used the skill in the scene. No, it's fashion. What did I use the first time? Dance. Dance. Dance the porn. So, well, the risk is get down to the courtyard below. If you fail to get any successes because you roll all ones, for instance, you fail. Uh, consequence again is eight wounds. Okay. <laughs> That's a good scream. What's that? Do I have to get exactly ten? Yes. No, you have to make ten or more for each set. But if anything's left over, it yeah. doesn't count. Oh, rip. So it sets of dice. All right. So like, okay, if you get a seven or an eight. Okay, got it. It's a 15, Yeah, so you got but it counts as one, nice. one so race. I've got, I've got two races. So yeah. I'm going to use one to stay alive and one to reduce the overall damage. Okay. Right. And I uh, succeed. I'm going to oh, use luck and reroll one of my dice. Okay. You have luck? Yes. Caught. All right. <laughs> oh, um, do you really have luck? So then does that... Yeah, yeah, there's the things for luck and stuff. Oh, as I forgot to ask, how many hero points do we start with? You always start with one hero point. Oh. Okay. oh. And did I get one for trusting my my seductive yet? Uh, you can tell me you wanted one. I'm oh, going I have to. to you have you actually have to tell me you're oh. using it for that point. All right. Well, so like, they're just... normally role playing points anyway, and you should yeah. be doing it a lot. Okay. But it's when you want that hero point, you have to say, "Oh, I'd like a hero point for," because I don't know if that's your hubris or just the way you're acting. I, I would like a hero point for okay. trusting her blindly. All right, thank you. Um, I would like to spend my hero point for my virtue, which allows me to add another uh, raise to my risk. Okay. Yeah, you can spend a hero point on your virtue, or you can spend it on certain advantages, if anything makes sense. Um, okay, so you've all did your thing? Yeah, yeah. All right, so I succeeded. I had two raises already. And I got two raises on top of that. Same. Okay. Succeed, uh, four two 
So, obviously, you take one off for succeeding. Um, or to actually succeed and get to the courtyard below. And then you take... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! So, one of them Caught catches me. you. Oh, uh, thank you. One of them gets stabbed in the head. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is actually relevant. <coughs> Uh-oh. He started a riot. He will make a fantastic distraction while we get away from the ship. Um, you find, fashion something and climb down it. And, uh... You land in a hay cart. No now pull the closest him. guard in with you and stab him. Like this. Just pull yeah. him, stab. Um. <laughs> Keep doing that. I'm very good with this sword. Just so you know. Clearly. Well, here's here. the thing. <laughs> so there's an opportunity as well here. Okay. Okay. Well, you didn't get hurt when I you swan dove off so of So to buy the opportunity costs a raise. Um, this opportunity can only be bought once. It I doesn't matter do how it. many. What kind of wait? What? what? Uh, the opportunity is uh, your arrival in the courtyard goes unnoticed. Ooh. Your next risk gains bonus dice equal to your ranks in ambush or hide. Ooh. So this will cost a raise to buy, which yeah. means that whoever buys it take means wounds. that you all take wounds. We all take wounds. Yeah, it's cumulative wounds. You only had eight. Successes towards preventing the damage. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna use a raise. Sorry, guys. I'm hot-headed. So, so you'll take one wound. Okay. How, so do we how, mark does, it on how the does the wound? Thanks for work? taking one for the team. So on on here, uh -huh. there's your your death spiral. They call it. Neat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, the circles that aren't grayed in. Yeah. Are your wounds. Right? Okay. So you take one wound. So everyone marks off the first circle. Okay. So. Alright. When you get two, which I believe is four for all of you. Mm -hmm. So when you take your uh, fourth wound. You get the bonus at the you get, you, No. You mark off the first dramatic wound. Oh, okay. okay. No, Wounds are bruises and scrapes and things like that. They're they're nothing. They don't slow you down. So like they four don't... wounds is a dramatic wound. Yes. However, certain things can just cause dramatic wounds. Okay. I like see. guns. Right. And like. Okay. You can't dodge a bullet. You right. take a dramatic wound. Right. All right. Um, I'm back. When you take a dramatic wound, you cross off the star, either through a dramatic wound being caused directly, Wait, or what's... your wound track fills in. Okay. Now, this game has something that they have actually referred to in the rules as the McLean effect. <laughs> the John McLean effect. Okay. As you take damage... The best Christmas movie ever. You get better. So when you take your first dramatic wound, you get a bonus d10 right. to all dice pools. Nice. Wow. Right? That's However... Your second dramatic wound is actually a bad thing. Third is good. Fourth. Your third is good, and then your fourth is unconscious. Right. <laughs> right. So overall, it's more good than bad to get shot. Um, yeah. Also, <laughs> the the second dramatic wound only counts for villains. Villains are enemy heroes. Like big, big boys. Yeah. Oh, so right. like just like a These guys in the guard courtyard like nothing. are just brutes. They're, just they're a brute squad. Sucky right? <sighs> they're not brilliant. They're they're <laughs> just sucky run of the brutes. mill. Every razor you get in against them when you're fighting them takes one of them down immediately. Wow. They don't have easy. a wound track, anything like that. They're just GG easy. Yeah. Super easy to blend your way through them. Right, okay. Cool. Okay. And I'm very good with my sword, so clearly I can yeah. do that very easily. Like extra easily. Right, so we, we all took a wound for this this, yep. this hubris. However, what is, you what act, is our advantage? Uh, the advantage is um, your net risk will gain bonus dice equal to your ranks in ambush or hide. So if you jump out and stab someone, you get bonus dice. Okay. And, and you said but only that? for you. Yes. Only I'm for you? Do that. Yeah, because he's hidden. Super cool. 
And I'm really good with a sword, so like it's gonna be extra good I when I'm that as well. surprising somebody. And I'm already really good with the sword. So you like, need to play more Assassin's Creed. That's not always the case. They will come fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but there's others. There's almost like four assassins in Assassin's Creed. No, no, but I. But three I of them aren't in the open. Understand. Aren't hidden. I'm really good with a sword. Like absurdly good. It's kind of crazy. So then why do you need a bonus to hit a group? Versus. I don't. But you just took a damage for it. In fact, you, well, you, you dealt a damage to your entire though. team for that. Yeah, That's so, not role play. But I don't think right. Don't, don't think things through. Yeah, we, we know that, but why don't you play Marching towards you. like me more. Marching towards you. I like you. Is <laughs> the king's most trusted guard, Philip... I hate European names sometimes. Philip, I hate European names sometimes. This is uh, a weird Philip, one, but... Uh, Kimigia. Mm. Um, drop your weapons. The captain of the Royal Samar Samaritan oh, no. Guard Too good. shouts as he marches forward, surrounded by his most trusted soldiers, men and women handpicked to serve at his side. But I'm really good with the sword. It doesn't take you long to realize that Philip isn't shouting the men attacking, he's addressing you. After a moment, after only a moment, once it becomes apparent that you aren't going to comply, his expression shifts to anger. I'm sorry, my prince, but you made a grave error. Your ideas are dangerous. They go against the very nature of a civilized society. He pivots on a heel and strides towards the castle, making an impatient gesture to the collection of Sabat soldiers and royal guards. Seize them. Can he see me right now? No, but he's also nowhere near you. Oh, okay. He, he, did he you didn't do? approach within this area, right? I tried to bring real democracy to the. Your royalty, why would you ever do he that? He got his Can father to grant everyone in the country a noble title. I have ideas. And therefore, they all have veto powers. <laughs> Over everything and yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he did. Yeah. <laughs> now that's do you understand why literally everybody wants to kill him? Well, anybody with actual power, yeah, wants to kill him. Well, actually, no. Uh, it was a case of um, nobles have veto power, right? As they should, and he made no matter no matter what. Like every single noble has veto power over. Anything. And that's because of him. No, 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 no. Hold no, on. So like Let me explain, because you weren't paying attention earlier. So, the court <laughs> works like this, alright? Anyone puts forward any topic, alright? Like, oh, we should lower the price on grain so that we can actually sell it. Or, you know, we should arm the soldiers so they can actually fight. Any noble has the right to go, no, veto, and it's gone. Right? Okay. Like a so we it is a horrible system. It, 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 yeah. that. The country is destroying itself because oh, of it. Okay. Okay. So what he did is he got his father, the king, yeah. to do something that the court cannot veto. He grant he got his father to declare everyone in the country a noble, and therefore everyone in the country gets veto power. Super cool. Right? Communism. So what <laughs> the the um, nobles then did, as his he said basically, this goes in effect in 30 days unless you vote out veto power. The nobles immediately voted to remove veto power. Did it? Do we know what the results of that vote were? They have they are. voted yeah. to remove veto power. Oh, okay. So now. So then what happens? Who knows? Before probably. There, probably. No, this 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 has happened. Hmm. Right? Probably, so, however, this duke doesn't agree with the removing of veto power, so now he's gonna seize control of the country. Hmm? Bring back veto power, but remove your head. That's right. Huh. You know, this is politics. Politics with a sword and more men. But it's still hey, politics. Sword. I can go with one of those. Yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> That's Allegedly. pretty much what he did. Okay. That makes sense. Now. Yeah. So now this guy wants to take over the country. Murder. 
and this pretty much happened a few times within the Commonwealth's history. Okay. Gotcha. So now that you're caught up. So now you're caught up. This, uh, these soldiers, these are brute squads. Um, there are, um, the brutes are groups of thugs. There are three brute squads with a strength of eight, or in one case, seven, because someone stabbed one. <laughs> uh, their strength is equal to um, eight as they started. That means they have eight men in each. Okay. Um, what will happen is if you fight them and damage, them, like when you damage them, they will, you will reduce their strength for each right. raise. Um, the end of the round, they will do damage back to you equal to their current strength in wounds. And then we can, can we use raises? They don't make a roll. You don't get to use raises to dodge yeah, or anything like that. There's no dodge skill. You're just taking it. Yikes. Yeah. Okay. But these are wounds, not grammatical wounds. Can they wounds. see me? No, they can't. No sneak attack. And Philippe is going back into the house? Yep. Okay. What about the guy who's holding me? Hmm? He's kind of like dropped you. He's dropped me already? Well, uh, Captain of the Guard just showed up. And ordered him to take us. Yeah, so now he's going to try to like... Or take me, sorry. Yeah. Well, actually, he said uh, he's them, mm. not him. Oh, true. Them. True, true, true. So going to take you so all. all. They're all going to take you prisoner. So here's how this works. Um, <clears throat> everyone, including the brute squads, says what they want to happen next. Your intentions. Okay. Um, your intentions could be like escape to the docks, um, fight them, whatever. Right. Um, theirs will be to capture you. Oh, not to kill. No, to capture. Because that's what they were told. They weren't told kill them. They were told to capture them. Will they do everything in their power to keep us alive? No. Okay. <laughs> but Perhaps you were unfamiliar with the European If your wound politics. track fills up, yeah. well, remember, <laughs> if your wound track fills up, you're only helpless. You're yeah, unconscious yeah, yeah. on the ground. You're not dead. Yeah, no, no, I know. I actually have to spend something called a danger point to kill you. Oh. Don't kill us. Um, I start with one danger point for each hero. Alright, so what are our intentions, you guys? Alex is asking. Well, I'll... these are all your individual intentions. Yeah, what are, what are your or intentions? The group. I'm fucking murdering all of them. I'm killing them. This Murder? Drop me. <laughs> yeah, he dropped me. Me and my uh, bodyguard will make haste to the dock uh, to your prep a boat. bodyguard has, um... I don't know where your bodyguard is. <laughs> God damn her. They didn't jump. She didn't jump. She's the best uh, kind of bodyguard. She guy. jumped. <laughs> no one knows where she is. As you look around, she's gone that way after the dude. Follow her. Huh? I'll follow her. To the docks. <laughs> she's not gone to the docks. Oh, okay. She's Follow followed the, the, the captain, captain the royal of the guard. royal guard. Oh, I'm going to follow Ooh. her. Well, yeah, I'll go. The guards are blocking your way. I will make like, my escape she, to the docks. She ran, basically, she turned and ran in. Yeah. As they kind of now have swarmed around you. Mm. So th we're, we are, in fact, uh, like, surrounded. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. But oh, you, can, you can try to escape through the docks. Yeah. All right. I would like to try to escape no, through the docks. No, they can't see you, but they can see them. Okay, good. They've all landed around the hay cart. I'm in. The You're hay in the hay cart. Ha ha ha. Foolish brutes. Can't wait to jump out of that birthday cake to start stabbing people. Get ready to get surprised by my superior sword so, skills. So what's your intention is to stab? Your intention is to run with your bodyguard to inside the castle? Well, well or fall no. escape to the docks. He's, he's going to try to escape to the docks. All right. And you're just straight murder? I'm going to kill him. What about I, you? I will right. harm them. I am Batman. I will harm them. My, my intention mm -hmm. is to try to win back the loyalty of my royal guards. I would like to try to use one of my advantages, which is leadership, where I can spend a hero point to inspire a group to action. The group must be able to hear you, but if they can and they are not either neutral or better disposition, so I guess I should ask. They are. They're not neutral. They're not neutral. They're enemy. They hate you. My guards hate me. Yep. 
All right, so I guess I am... Probably because they're Royal Guard, and quite a lot of them are nobles or noble family. Interesting. Because Royal Guard are usually younger sons of nobles. Interesting. Uh -huh. So... That's how you keep them honest and loyal and right. out of trouble. I guess I would try my diplomacy. Right. <laughs> honest and loyal. I guess I try my diplomacy to get them to see my way. Okay. So. Still trying to turn them against the Sabbat. Um, can I, can I describe what I want to do, yeah. or is that? Yeah, you can. You fully describe what you want to do. Okay. Well, to the guy that dropped me, I'm. However, okay. we'll get to those when you okay. start That's making your okay. spending your raises. Okay. Yeah. So. Just like that. You are killing them. Yeah. This is up to you what you want to do. How are you fighting? What weapon are you using? It's up to you what weapon. I don't know. Oh, oh wait, I have a weapon. You have a whip. Okay, so that will be... Two. Huh? <laughs> nice. <laughs> and it's a whip, so it will be finesse. Finesse. Yep. And then, so finesse plus your whip. Plus description. Plus for description. Well, uh, and not having used a skill. So, your dice pool is how many? Six. Six, okay. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to start talking to them, try to appeal to their dice better pool. reason. <laughs> Just build in your dice pools at the moment. Yep. Yeah. So that would be wits, I guess? Um, or resolve? Or... So you are trying to get them to see things your way. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, this will be your panache. Okay. So uh, wits is how quick you can think on your feet. Okay. Um, Resolve is your will power and your endurance. Okay. Okay. All right. So diplomacy, and then plus one for the first time I've used diplomacy, yep. and plus one for history. Yep. What do I got? Uh, you are fighting them with the sword. I'm hiding in the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you're trying to kill them. Right? Yeah. You're trying to fight them with the sword. Right? Yeah, you're you're them with okay, sword. Yeah, um. Because you're really good at the sword. I, I I believe it actually you have an advantage here that really helps. You have a fighting style. Left handed? No. There's a, f a right down at the bottom of that side. Dueling Academy. Yeah. Oh, sweet! Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm gonna use both my weapons! Just Somebody totally would like good. to explain what it does. Yeah, so uh, I have uh, an ability called Dueling Academy, and it allows me to, when wielding a dagger in my right hand and a fencing sword in my left, I can use uh, weapon dagger plus weapon sword plus panache to build my weapon. Yep. Cool. And then I also get to add two for hide, right? Yeah, and you get to add one for your description and, and one, one for using. having not used... Yeah. yeah. I... <laughs> And you. You will so, be using your... Um, you're looking for a way out and trying to get somewhere. Yeah, I was thinking, like, resolve and... No, it's going to be wits. It's wits, okay. Yeah, because it's how quick you can think on your feet. All right. Uh, um, deception, because I'm kind of, like, going to be weaving in and out? No, deception is lying to someone. Okay. All right, hide would be actually hiding and being stealthy. Okay. I do not have that skill. Hide. Or um, athletics. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. Um, if you are just trying to run as fast as possible. Okay. So, how are you doing this? Uh, well, since I don't have hide, okay. um, I will have to use wits and athletics. Okay. So, that my pool is four. First time I'm using the skill. And so we're gonna run this like what? it actually says to run <laughs> okay. combat in the book as to the cut down way it says here. Sure. Because I like the way it says in the book a little bit better. Alright. So I think I have the right amount of Okay, roll your dice pool. All of you get to roll your dice pools. But Big Daddy Walls does. <laughs> oh, well. oh, Jesus. oh yeah. Let's point out you can use a hero point to add a bonus D ten before 
the roll. Oh, All right. Okay. You may spend multiple <laughs> hero points on it's this fashion two. on a single risk. Oh, it's off the table. You roll again. Oh, okay. Sweet. Also, um, why would you worry about it? There's literally like 20 dice in front yeah. of you. Because he might want to get more dice. <laughs> We're also going to add in a little bit more here as well. Bonuses you get for your skill ranks. So, um, in your case, you have to pick your highest of these to get these bonuses. All right. So is your sword at, like is the skill you used at rank three or higher? Uh, weapon sword is. All right, and this counts for all of you. Okay. Right? Sorry. So no. skill. If the skill you used for yeah. this roll is rank three or higher, okay. you may re-roll one dice. Okay. Cool. You may do this once per roll. Mm. And before I buy any leftover dice for danger points. Okay. Okay. Didn't change okay. anything. Are any of the skills used in this at rank four? This is a one. Oh, was mm -hmm. it? Oh, okay. <laughs> they weren't there. No, no one's at rank four. Okay. There's other things that happen at rank four and five in skills. Neat. Um, so. Count up all your raises. Sadness. So you are at eight. Eight. <laughs> That's good. I'm just going to go ahead and take out a full team Hold by on. myself. You're at... Uh, one success plus two raises. Uh, just total oh, raises. So three raises. Three raises. Three raises. You're at... Two. did my best, boss. Two? I only had six dice. Okay. You're at... I'll accept that. Is this my superior sword still? Really, if I had to be honest. Three raises. This is okay. Okay. Um, because I'm not rolling anything, I don't mind at this point. Um... How many leftover dice do you have? One. One. Yeah. How about One. you? One? One. How many leftover dice do you have? Oh. That you oh. couldn't use to make up numbers or oh, sets of ten. None? None. Okay. We have to stop at exactly ten, right? No, you don't Which have to stop at ten. Right. But, like, you cannot go... If you have a... A, a nine, a two, and a five. A nine, a two, and a five? Mm. Right? Make eleven and a five. Yeah. I mean, could you also you, make 14 and a 2, hypothetically? Sure. Yeah, you can make 14 okay. and a 2, but you couldn't make a 16 to yeah. stop me buying the dice. Right. Right. So you, can't, you can't just say, oh, I'll put them all together so you don't get any left. So overs. 1, 0, oh, sorry, 1, 1, 0. How many leftover dice did you have? 0. Yeah, 0. 1, 1, 1, 0. Oh, sorry, yeah. 1. Okay. Cool. So I am going to buy your leftover dice, your leftover dice, and your leftover dice. That gets me three extra danger points. However, it gets each of you one hero point. Yay. Oh, cool. Hero points are cool. Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you can... So. Here's how we... Initiative goes. Or how things happen. We start with the person with the most raises. I think that's me. Keep in mind in future, if there's a villain, and the villain ties a hero for raises, villains always win ties. Okay. Interesting. Not heroes. Finally. <laughs> Finally! Villains are meant to be able to escape, not be murdered by heroes. Yeah. They're your iconic NPCs. They're villains. Finally, a game that understands this. Yeah. <laughs> so, please describe what you are doing. I'm gonna hop out of the hay cart and just spin around with my superior sword skill. And do what? You spin? <laughs> I, I would just, like, slash at them while spinning okay. and jumping. Do you have any fighting styles that give you bonuses to your effect? Uh, Don't that you do? Yes, he has the Dueling Academy training from Ambrosia. Yeah. Which does? It oh, you have Dueling Academy, okay. I've, I've already used it when I was rolling my dice. Yeah, yeah, but you, you have... And he is left handed um, as well. Yeah. So Did you reroll the dice? So because you have a dual in academy. I, I can unless I get a ten. Sorry. Hmm? Hmm? And no, I was just saying there's no real point in me rerolling. Yeah. Die. Because you have dual in academy, alright, you're a dualist. You have a bunch of bonus maneuvers you can do. Okay. Sweet. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
Oh. They're not on their sheet. No. Um, so, because you're dealing with brutes, mm. uh, you are slashing up people. Yeah. Right? So you will deal a number of wounds um, equal to your ranks in weaponry. In your case, it'll be your sword. Uh, three. Three. So you'll deal three wounds to a brute squad. Uh, three, like, so you spend a raise. All right. Um... So to perform maneuver, you spend a raise on your action. When it's your action, you spend a raise. Okay. Okay. You now have seven raises. Cool. But you've caused, you've taken out three brutes. Hmm. Okay, sweet. So now there are six brutes in that squad, or you've taken out three, so there was seven. Now there's four in that squad. Okay. okay. Um. Now. I know the answer to this already, but it's who has the most raises again. You again. Okay? <laughs> yep. The downside to maneuvers is you can't spend the same maneuver twice. Okay. This time, I'll just, like, do this kind of thing. <laughs> Lunge? I'm gonna have sure. to think of a lot of different ways with to both, hurt with these both, With like, both hands, though. It's like... Oh, like like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep doing it too. It's going to be like this kind of thing. <laughs> Just keep going. Well, it'd be the same maneuver. So, um, so basically, you're going to stab at something. Yeah. Okay. Let's go stab so, it. you spend a raise. Okay. And you kill one. Yes. So, now you have six. I think I'm still the most. Yep. <laughs> so, hmm. What are we, what are we doing but the better your descriptions, the more interesting it becomes. Okay. It doesn't get you a bonus, but it's, yeah. it's flavor. Of course. It's more enjoyable. And like, you've already succeeded, alright? So You're spending successes effectively to do this. So this time, I'm gonna, like, slash with a sword and just stab with the dagger. Okay. So, like, like, like the slash it. Kind of yeah, thing. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> and wait till you hear the next one. It's it's very original and totally not. Oh, come on, but I wanted to tell that really cool. <laughs> You're stealing my kills. Okay, and the next one? Um, Taking you down to four. The next one. Okay, so I'm just like, am I just like standing there with like a bunch of brutes? Like You're doing whatever you want. You don't have to stand there. Yeah, you can be okay. moving around. You, okay. You're in a courtyard, right? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw my dagger. Yep. Because why not? And then like run at it and stab anybody who's around the person who got hit by my dagger. Okay. And you can do other things as well. Like you can do like. Uh, um, we... Do we have any other like weapons? No, well, you have okay. your sword and your dagger. Right. Okay. Like, can I? Can I like, ooh, can I? Can I like oh, jump on a guy's back and like <coughs> die, just like stab around? Do a, like a front flip and then stab two guys. And oh yeah, that would be really cool. In the face. Like one of those. I don't know, there's like a lot of options. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> okay. you should, you know, uh, feel free to explore. There's still, like, you know, there's, so there's, uh, what, 16, 20? 19 guys left? 19, okay. Okay, um, yeah, so let's go with, with dagger throwing. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm gonna throw, so the dagger, throw the dagger, run to where it got thrown, and Start yep. just slashing at everybody there. Three. So three and there's two. Okay, so now we're down to threes. So you, the prince, and the captain all have three raises left. Mm -hmm. So you may act in whichever order you wish. Wait. I guess I'll go first. Wait. One, two, three. You had two raises. Yeah. So you will get to act next pass, effectively. Right. Okay. Alright, so I'll start talking. I'll, I'll look at one of them in the eyes and I'll appeal to him. I'll say, I know you. You've known me your whole life. What's going on here is wrong. We need to save our country. Uh, please, man. Well, I won't say please, but yeah. I'll, be, I'll, I'll say, like, the, like, why would you replace effectively uh, the rule of many for the rule of one why would you uh, 
allow that evil duke to take the place of my father in, in the, the commonwealth that we've raised over the last 50 years. Okay. Well, that will take... Be a raise and take one guy out of a fight. Okay. However, it takes him out of a different squad to the one he's Sure, working. yeah, that, that would be Because there's one squad of brute of royal guards that are brutes, and two squads of the duke's men who are brutes. Right. I'm telling you, I'm talking to the royal guards, yes. Yeah. Um, anyone else? You, because... <laughs> and then you walk up to another guy. Okay, uh, okay. so for my next trick, uh, I'm... Is there, like, any physically larger yes gentlemen like like clearly physically larger in this group that I'm attacking so I'm gonna jump on its back and like start I don't know is it yes, yes it is it's up to you yeah. if there is yeah no okay there, there, there's a bigger guy and just like, like jump on his back <laughs> and like stab him with my dagger while simultaneously slashing at anybody near me okay um that will cost you um, two raises. Okay. So, um, well, I know our missing producer is trying to hide and run away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Physically. Hmm. Physically and literally. Yep. <laughs> um, so we'll go to twos. Alright, why don't you take an action? Okay, so... And there are 15 left. So I'm going to take my whip mm-hmm. and bring it around a guy's neck and then just kick him in the butt. Or like in the lower back. Okay. Oh wow, that's, that's one. pretty brutal. Okay. And that'll be one. And it'll pretty much take him out. <laughs> it's like I'm pulling the wheel. Yeah, you don't yeah. need to roll anything. You've already rolled the successes. Yeah. yeah. And that's the way it works. It's like you've already rolled these successes. Now it's just up to you to describe mm-hmm. what those successes mean. Yep. Okay. So you take him out as you strangle and leave him choking on the floor. Um, Thanks for catching me. <laughs> yeah, thank you for catching me. <laughs> he dropped me. Yeah. He, he dropped me. Well. Ah, welcome back. Thank you. I just strangled a guy. So. Hot. You're on <laughs> uh, three raises, yes? I am on three raises. So yes. please decide what you were doing. Like, how you were spending those raises. Um. You can spend raises to, like, you are using athletics, you're running away. Yeah. Um. Cowarding out, you know. It's not cowarding out. I'm going but for the But please describe them. Bravely run away, right? away, bravely run away. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, so is there someone uh, who is like, you know, close to, like, what's, what's going on? I don't know, is on? there? No. I There's no clear, one close to you? I have a clear line to the docks. Okay. There you go. Excellent. Uh, but you, then you're not going to take out any of the brutes on the way to help out your these other people. No. Do, uh, do I spend all three raises for a clear way, or just one? Huh? I don't know. Do you? I'll spend one raise for... I'll spend two raises to help them and clear a path. So how are you helping them? Oh, well. You spend each raise at a time. Okay. One at a time. So all my right. first raise, I will attack one of the dudes who is surrounding us with my... Oh, I have a firearm. Uh, so, because you are using a different skill to what you declared, right? Mm-hmm. Attacking someone with a firearm would be two raises. Okay. It'll cost you an additional raise. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, attack them with. I'll, I'll, I'll attack There's no with roll. I know. You just spend those ro- raises. Right. Okay. So, I will clear away uh, by shooting the thing, which is my three raises. Mm hmm. No, it, it's one raise to clear do it, away. and then an, like and then you're not clearing two. away. You're just okay. The it's already clear. The way yeah, you don't gotta. Oh, you've okay. already set the raise clear. clear. Okay, but yeah. are you gonna take one of them out on the way? Yes, that's what I'm gonna okay. do. I'm gonna sh- as I'm running, I'm just gonna pull my firearm and like just drive by him. It's a pistol. A drive is it a by. pistol? 
It's a firearm. It doesn't actually say what it is. So it's okay. a bazooka. It's a pistol. Like a, it's a, a, awesome. a sniper. It's a pistol. It's Clearly a pistol. Yeah. All right. So a yeah, I'll do that. Uh, you, huh? So you spend two raises. Yeah. To take out one guy. Yeah. Okay. Um. What do you mean? No water. It's underneath. You're on two as well. Thank you. Yes, so I look over at Evgeny, I see Evgeny, you remember that time when we were together in the baths and all the other men were making fun of your manhood and I didn't laugh even though your manhood is tiny and shriveled and just pathetic. <laughs> wow, you Jeez. are a prince. And you said to me, you said to me, you, you said to me, Alexi, you truly you are a prince and you, I would never do anything to harm you. Well, now's that time. So, uh, that sounds more like Intimidation. Yeah. <laughs> I was reminding him of I was reminding him of a promise he made. You also just insulted him. No, I, I didn't. The other boys did. In fact, a couple of them are over there wearing sabbat clothes. No, no, no. You just insulted him. Oh, you, you just no, no, said, no. even though it is. <laughs> <laughs> I have no problem with this. Hey, hey we're not judging. It just yeah, happens judging. to be tiny. So because it's shriveled, it's effectively an intimidate to get him it. to like. You're trying to make him embarrassed and like. You know, go hide in a corner. No, I'm trying to remind him that, that he owes me a promise. Mm -hmm. A debt. A debt. A debt among men. Manly men. Men's of manly. Would you say men's in tights? Maybe. Merry men, possibly. In tights, you okay. Definitely merry. <coughs> You really want to stand against against me, who defended you, when everyone around you was laughing at you? Yeah. Look at his sword now. It's much bigger than the sword you've got. I wouldn't mess with him. It's a fine, thin sword that you have there. <laughs> He's got a tiny sword then. A thin noodle. Hey, at least I'm very, very good with it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Remember to stick it with the pointy end. <laughs> okay. Those on ones. It's me. I will want to everybody by now. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's so loud. Who wants to go first? Yeah, you just choose. Well, I don't have any idea yet, so I'm still thinking. Um, I'm just gonna walk up to somebody and like open his eyes and like stare at him. That's <laughs> that's creepy. Jesus. Well, Christ. no, like, isn't there like a thing where they're intimidated by your yeah. nationality? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> It's like stare like well, That's an intimidation thing. Oh, so it would cost you an extra raise. I don't have extra raise. And you don't have the extra raise. So and I don't have any. Go for the go for the headbutt. Headbutt arm. Um, okay. I have a whip. I don't really yeah, use it. Yeah, you're you're using a whip already. So like. Can I like? Open his throat. <laughs> Wait, what? It's a whip. Whips yeah. whips rip stuff away. Yeah. yeah. Rips tear skin. Whips will tear skin. So like, I'm thinking like, if there's like a whole bunch of guys. Just the AoE slash. You're not that good with a whip. Okay, two guys? <laughs> One guy. You, uh, I don't believe you have a uh, dueling school for whips. A what? Dueling school? There's an advantage called dueling academy. No. Yeah. And and I know it. there is a dueling academy. No, no. you've got good. a dueling academy for what you've got. Okay. There is a, dueling, a different dueling academy for whips. I see. Yeah. No. Because fate witches use whips. Right, okay. Which is awesome. Okay. But it's super rare to find yeah. um, someone who has access to both a school of magic and a dueling academy. In fact, it's almost exclusive to each other. Okay. So dueling wait. academies are your magic for swordsmen. And right. I'm going to whip some guys a uh, dick. <laughs> okay. You know what? <laughs> Not Take Yevgeny. that, Evgeny! <laughs> Not Yevgeny. Not Yevgeny. The target okay. is too small. Don't go don't for Yevgeny. So you spend a raise to uh, whip someone in the dick, causing him to <laughs> fall over in pain. Oh my 
This is this is this is Warhammer all over again. Yeah. My yeah. entire my entire year of D and D has been my special has been killing people by sticking my finger up their butt. That's how I've killed everybody for the last year playing D and D. What even giants? I've met any giants. What about Thanos? But... How would you have killed Thanos? 